Red Bear and Bear, it's just Fan TV, back with another video. And today, Rangers played HJK Helsinki at Ibrox in the friendly. And it finished Rangers 3, HJK 2. And yeah, it was a alright first half. Uh, or kind of a strange game anyway. Uh, Rangers obviously making uh, a lot of changes. Uh, even the starting lineup, there was a few changes, and I think Gerard obviously wanted to try a few things out. Uh, anyway, the starting eleven uh, for Rangers today was following the Nets, a back four of Tavener, Flanagan, Warrell, and Halliday, midfield three of Jack, Arfield, and Davis, up front, Kent, Defoe, and Morelos. And yeah, like I say, it was a uh, Rangers were doing pretty well. Uh, good to see Davis and the four playing, and I think it's looks good. The the team that we're doing okay, but I think me personally, I don't think, or from what I could see, Morelos doesn't like being out in the wing. At the start, I thought, and a few other fans, I thought Rangers had gone to the back uh, to basically four four two. Uh, obviously, what watched uh, as the game kind of went on after a couple of minutes, it looked to be four three three, and it looks well for me anyway. I think we now know why Rangers don't play four four two. Me personally, I think. If you look at the midfield as of now, if you're going to play a midfield four, uh, you've got to, for me anyway, it's saying, it's like saying, playing Ryan Jack, say defence midfield, Candace on the right, Ken on the left, and then you basically got, say, Davis playing, which means there's no Scott Arfield, or if Arfield's going to play, then there might be no... Davis, so it maybe means Rangers would have to uh, maybe drop Kent to put Arfield or Davis there, but it kind of it kind of doesn't make sense. So I think we can see why, or that could be the reason why four four two doesn't get played. The only other I think option I'd come up with was playing a four one three two. But obviously, you know, it's still kind of uh, losing that person in midfield if you're going to play. You know, so I think 4 3, three does work because obviously it then gets you to play uh, Kent, Kendis, Arfield, Davis and Jack or whoever's fit, obviously. But yeah, uh, goals. Uh, Ar Scott Arfield scored in the 28th minute. Uh, the ball from Halliday, I think trying to pick Morales, uh, and HGK's defender managed to walk it. Uh, I think with his chest, obviously dropped, Morales got the ball, passed to Arfield, who went through and scored. And then within two minutes of the restart, HGK went straight up the other end, uh, ball on the left, went straight across, uh, after Taverner tried to cross it, just got blocked. Uh, their left midfielder just basically went straight down the wing. Uh, cut back to the left back who put it straight across. And they are... Uh, striker. Uh, scored to make it one each at half time. Second half, quite a num number of changes. Basically, kind of more. Uh, Barris it should come on. Candace came on. Kilbal came on. Hodgson came. Houston, sorry, came on. Katic came on. Kelly came on. Lafferty came on. McCauley came on. McCrory came on. Ross's brother, uh, Robbie McCrory, went in nets, and Middleton went in as well. And on the fifty third minute, uh, Rangers got a corner. Middleton. Uh, took the corner 
and found Katic to make it 2-1. And again, within two minutes of that, HJK uh, end up scoring and it seemed to be a game whenever Rangers scored within two minutes of scoring, HJK would score, but on the 75th minute, it didn't. The goalkeeper uh, tried to hit the ball out to one of the defenders. Candice managed to stick his foot out to stop the ball, took the ball. Uh, Lafferty went round to take the defender away. The keeper went to his right and Candice put it past his left to make it 3-2. Uh, and as far as I know, I think Kelly, the last sub-Rangers that was Stephen Kelly went off for Karen Palmer, was the last change Rangers made. Uh, overall, I think Rangers did do well, I think, or I was told, the way that the HDK team had been brought in. I think there was like 18 players, whether that's, whether that's down to wanting to bring more uh, the youth, or most of the youth through. I know uh, Rafina, who was their captain, uh, I think was kind of their oldest player at 36, but yeah, they look like a team that when they don't have the ball, they, to quote, hunt in packs, they look really determined to try and win the ball back. I think, obviously, from the way that it looked, I think with some of the players, uh, you no know, kind of really young team, but I think within time, uh, they'll probably do well in there. Uh, in the Finnish league, Rangers obviously did okay. I think obviously the four had uh, a couple of chances. One was offside, uh, and one he uh, just couldn't find the net. But yeah, as soon I think it was within ten minutes, twenty minutes of the game, he started to. I think understand or work out uh, where to be, how to, uh, you know, maybe hold the ball, pass it, and let some like Tavener put the ball in, uh, say from where else I can. But yeah, it was an okay, like I could say, it was an okay game. Obviously, scoring twice to then go back twice was obviously a bit annoying. But like I say, you know, to see. The second half, you know, quite a different team to see. Uh, Jordan Houston, I think, uh, played right back. Looked to be really, had a good game. Uh, Ross McCrory had a very good game. Candice as well. The only thing at the end of the game uh, was Barisic went on, got in, uh, tackled. He obviously was in discomfort. Uh, as a minute, nothing's been said. Hopefully, uh, we can fit, it'll be said uh, if he's okay or not. He did walk off uh, the pitch with no stretcher, no uh, you know, not hobbling. He did walk with the medic team. So yeah, hopefully, uh, it'll be okay and. We then go to the 23rd, which I believe is Wednesday, uh, away to the Rugby Park, which will be interesting, uh, mainly to see if Jordan Jones does play. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, obviously, just to let you know that Greg Stewart that was at Kilmarnock, there was reports, Rangers have been looking at him, and... It's been confirmed that he went to Aberdeen, which obviously, if you, I'm sure you'll see in the TV or online, that apparently the command boss Clark isn't happy or thinks something was strange to be told. You can have him for a, the full season, and then all of a sudden, come January, uh, Birmingham have apparently recalled him. And within so many days of going back to Birmingham, he's then going to Aberdeen. But anyway, Rangers 3, HJK 2. And 
yeah, like I say, big thanks to everyone that's been watching the videos. Please, uh, if you haven't done or you knew, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button as well. Uh, just show you your support to the channel. And the notification bell obviously just lets you know when new uh, videos are uploaded. And yeah, whether it's uh, transfers, news I'll let you know. Uh, but at the minute, I'll see you Wednesday. Alright, thanks for watching. Thanks guys.